Today's patch notes brought to you by Bruce Hazelbaker. All right, Bruce, read them for us. Get out here. Yeah. What else? Anyways, guys, let's get started. I'm just going to go through these uh, as quick as I can and go over the important things. I'll leave a link down below so you can check them out if you to, if you want to. So let's get down to it. Overview. Welcome to the Elder Scrolls Online version 1.18 featuring one Tamriel. This update opens up the world of Tamriel for you to explore any time and play with your friends no matter what level you are. Due to the significant changes one Tamriel brings to ESO, we've adjusted much of the current content and systems. In this update, you'll find that we've Made Craglorn more solo friendly, added normal and veteran modes for all four player dungeons, redesigned and done in pledge system, and made fairly sizable itemization changes and updates. You'll definitely want to check out all the details below. In addition to one time reel, we've also added dueling, weapon ultimates, and added new daily quests. We've also added 16 new monster masks, 30 new item sets, and raised the champion point cap by 30 points. As with previous updates, we've implemented many fixes and improvements to previous DLC game packs base game patch, and including a fix for frequent crashing and trials. <sighs> Let's go. Content fixes and improvements in all areas. One Tamriel, you're no longer gated by characters low. As soon as you get out of the in prison there, or the prison, you can go wherever you want, including Craglorn, which is pretty cool. Uh, they make Craglorn more player friendly. I was just there the other night, and the group content I think is a little harder, but the actual quest line is a lot easier. Item set drop locations. So now the stuff that used to drop in trials is now in overworld locations. So let's see, like Alakir Desert, Ribs of the Withered Hand, Sword Slinger, Order of Diagna. <sighs> Oridon, Queen's Elegance, the Elegance set, Twin Sister, Armor of the Veiled Heritance. Bankrai drops Vampire Lord Spriggan's Thorns, Seventh Legion. Cold Harbor, Prisoner Rag, Stygian, and Meridia's Blessing. Craglorn, still weigh the martial knowledge, weigh the air, and weigh of fire, which is now scaled up to 160. So, we've got a bunch of new sets here. So, some of this, you know, like I said earlier, some of the stuff that you would have been farming the trials for is now in these overland locations. So, you'll definitely want to check that out. Go farm for new sets. There's going to be a bunch of theory crafting and builds going on right now. So we'll see. I definitely like the way that they've opened it up and made sets obtainable, especially for newcomers to the game. City of Ash, all these dungeons which are dropping. Look at this Tempest Island dropping overwhelming surge of jolting arms. Typically this was only available in... White Gold Tower, but now it's available in Tempest Island, which is neat for people that can't afford the DLC right away, or, you know, you don't have it. It's pretty interesting the way that they've done it. So we'll go ahead down here. Trials. New sets and trials. Healing Mage, Quick Serpent. No, these aren't new, are they? Mall of Lorcage. I have yet to try a normal mode on... Trial since one time real, so maybe it's easier. I don't know. We'll figure that out anyways. Dragon Star Arena still dropping the same loot. Still at 160 now. Uh, does it drop in normal? I know. I don't know. Maelstrom Arena, the same sets that have been dropping in Maelstrom Arena. PvP sets they're dropping. Um, are they now scaled to 160? I haven't. I don't do much PvP, so I don't know. I know the Imperial City stuff is 160, but Cyrodiil sets, I uh, don't know. I'd have to check, or maybe, you know, let me in the comments down below. 
damage mitigation has been normalized. Monsters in the Overland and Public Dungeons now take the same amount of damage from your attacks. World bosses add, and their adds have been made more resilient. Defeating monsters and delves now rewards 5% more experience. That's nice. Dark Anchors added new monsters to Molar Ball's Dark Army, including Grievous Twilight and Zifkin. Every zone can now spawn any of Moloch Ball's generals. And now about this achievement, which is also a gold trophy for PS4 users, and I mean, I'm sure it's an achievement on the Xbox, too, for the achievement trophies. But anyways, firsthand I have experienced this. The generals are now dropping way more often than they used to. I spent countless hours farming that damn achievement, but... Now they've made it much easier to get. World bosses, uh, common fixes, and stuff. All world bosses everywhere now have 1.8 million HP. Making them, unless you're geared out and all that stuff, it's going to be pretty hard to solo a world boss. Making it a lot more fun. Weapon ultimates. Uh, I've yet to experience all of them. I haven't watched any videos or what they do. But they seem pretty fun. I'll try out some. Maybe make a video on that one. Champion points has been raised by 30. So 10 points in each tree. New daily quest for all three factions. Fighters, mages, and undaunted. To And add a new way to gain reputation in their ranks. Now I've done a couple of these. So they say that it will level up your skill line. Um. If it does, it's not a big improvement because I've tried it. I've ran it a few of these quests and it hasn't made a big improvement on my skill line. These are the new monster masks. It's Chokethorn, Grothdar, Iceheart, Lambrus, Infernal Guardian, Crag, Pirate Skeleton, Selene, Selstrick, Centennial of something, Shadow Ren, Slime Claw, Stormfist. Swarm Mother, Tremor Scale, and the Troll King. We've added three new motifs. Celestial, the signature look of the final bosses in the Trials of Craglorn. So, these will drop in the Trials themselves. Yukonon, the style that can be seen of the enemies in Craglorn, and uh, Hel yeah, Helra Citadel. Draugr. This style has been rediscovered by the Mages Skills, Fighters Guild, and Undaunted. So when you do those skill line quests, you'll and you get the coffer, you'll have a chance to get the Draugr motifs. Craft bag updates added a new toggle option: settings, gameplay, auto add to craft bag. This allows you to decide if the items are automatically sent to the craft bag. So that's pretty cool. Added to a stow materials. This option only appears when you have auto add turned off. PlayStation Pro support. This is cool. Uh, it's going to be a bit before I get a PS4 Pro. But adding 4K mode. Now this is cool. This includes all the graphical features available in the original PlayStation 4. And now the game is scaled to 4K. That's 4K native. So it's actually only going to be 1080p upscaled to 4k so it's not really a 1080p enhanced mode which I th it's going to be cool beautiful graphics i've seen some of you on your gameplays on pc and it's just beautiful i can't wait to get that on ps4 pro and try it out um this is going to be Combat and gameplay improvements. Bodyguards no longer sacrifice themselves to save other bodyguards from death. I've never seen that before, but it sounds pretty funny. Fixes and improvements to Imperial City. Let's see, we're about halfway through this. Art and animation fixed an issue where there was missing textures on the Mighty Chudin helmet for Argonian female player characters. Now this is a little shit that people are that people bitch about, and I'm like, what? I didn't even notice that. Uh, come on, guys. They've got enough shit to worry about. They don't need to worry about how your female Argonian's tits are too small. 
Okay, come on. Just, just ridiculous, guys. Updated rewards for fighter gills bounties in Cyrodiil. General art and animation. Combat and gameplay fixes for each class. We're going to go down all this stuff. I will leave a link so you can read that stuff. I'm not going to go through all that. Dark Shade Caverns 2, new dungeons that we're exploring. More achievements for new, you know, that now that they got normal and veteran for normal and veteran modes, there's no achievements to be had, so that's pretty neat. Um, if you're somebody like me that really loves the achievements, and you spend hours in the game just trying to get achievements, <laughs> then that's going to be some good news for you. Miscellaneous fixed a number of memory optimizations that will improve the overall client stability. Fixed an issue that was causing frequent crashes and trials. Or trails, as some people say in the chat. Craglorn. Go down, down, down. Alliance crafting gameplay. It looks like we're pretty much down the line. Uh, new tutorials for the dueling and whatnot. Which obviously they've added dueling and now we can all see red, blue, and yellow. On the same thing. I really liked how they've opened up the game, guys. Uh, tell me what your thoughts is on Montemarillo. If you've enjoyed it so far. And uh, I think we'll go ahead and wrap this video up. Thanks for watching, guys.